Mechanics who operate from this plot arrived early morning to find it fenced off, with police deployed to ensure that the eviction order is complied with. But the mechanics were not going to be pushed out that easily. A clash was inevitable. Soon, running battles between the police and the Juakali men ensued. The battles went on for the better part of the morning with police hurling tear gas canisters. Some of the demonstrators were arrested during the confrontation. The street battles lasted for about four hours, spilling to Moy and Tomboya avenues where businesses were hurriedly closed. The demonstrators caused destruction, stoning vehicles, while it was alleged that some engaged in acts of theft. But who is the real owner of the 2.08 hectares piece of land that is adjacent to the Globe Roundabout? The current owners of the land are trustees of the Jamia Mosque Committee who bought it from the Hebatula family. But the mechanics went to court to bar the new owners from evicting them. Documents in opposition concerning the case confirm that in September 2012, the defendants and plaintiffs entered a settlement that would see the workers vacate the land. According to the consent, the Jamia Mosque Committee was supposed to immediately erect a perimeter wall after the workers left the area. In that agreement, the mechanics themselves identified and agreed to occupy this 1.25 acre piece of land as a short-term alternative. The land was given out by the Hebatula family, who are the initial owners of the disputed plot. Two months later, the court issued an eviction order, which was followed by another order in June 2013. The order asked police to assist in evicting the occupants since they had not vacated as agreed. Some of the mechanics have started moving to the new plot, but majority are resisting, arguing that the same fate will befall them since the new plot also has its owner. Nairobi leaders are coming to the defense of the artisans. Uh, this consent order is very clear. Uh, these guys were compensated this other land which OCP, OCPD is showing us. But the problem, the ownership of this land, everybody is claiming that this land is his, I'm hers. Uh. So we, we want to interpret the orders. Do it up and away forward to do any gani. I'm going to summon the owners of the land because, uh, yes, courts exist, but uh, courts cannot force good relations and good neighborhood, uh, good neighborliness. And what I want for Nairobians are Nairobians to be one people, brothers, sisters, and good neighbors. For quite some time now, this piece of land here in Grogon has been embroiled in litigation over its ownership and use. But now after the court ordered that the workers move out, they will have to look for somewhere else to conduct their business. Peter Mwangangi, NTV in Grogon, Nairobi.